back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. I am very excited about this episode. This is one that I have wanted to talk about since last week while I was on vacation. I was honestly very confused about everything that was going on and I was not taking the time to do a deep dive. So now that I'm actually back at work, I have taken the time to do it. We're talking about Logan Paul. Before we get into it though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section or off the clock episode. So if you have spent any amount of time on social media for the last eight days or so, I'm sure that you have seen that Logan Paul has been trending for the entire time. And like I said, for days, I had no idea what was going on. I just kept seeing his name everywhere. I kept seeing his fiance and I was like, this is really funny, but I have no idea what's going on. So I'm going to clear it up for everybody who might be confused like I was. Okay, let's review. For background and for context, Logan Paul, obviously very controversial YouTuber, now in the world of MMA fighting. He got engaged last month to Nina Agdal. She's a very well-known Victoria's Secret Sports Illustrated model. She's, you know, been in the industry for a very long time. I think she's 31, so she's a couple years older than Logan. And their whole relationship has been very public. And in classic OG YouTuber fashion, he vlogged the whole proposal, turned it into content, which is very weird, guys, we have to admit that. But they seem and have seemed very cute and very happy and in love, and people were happy for both of them. Not anymore, though. Not since last week. I'm guessing that there is now some trouble in paradise due to what somebody else is exposing on the internet. MMA fighter Dylan Danis has been on a tirade for the last seven days or so, and every Every day on his Twitter, he has been posting pictures of Nina with other men. So like I said, Nina has been in the industry for a long time. She is also heavily engaged physically with that industry and with men in this industry. So he's posting photos of men that she's dated, men that she was caught, you know, making out with at different clubs, random celebrities. And he is doing this to show the world that she is promiscuous, that she gets around, and he's trying to shame Logan for being with a woman whose body count is so damn high. The things that are extra fun, I've written in red. Everything's in red. Yeah, I know. Here's a screen recording of some of his posts. This is honestly a pretty mild one, but go to his Twitter after watching this video. It is entirely Nina at this point. The caption is Logan Paul going through the worst this your girl session I have ever seen. So it's just literally random people. Some of these are fans, stories about her with different guys, but it goes on forever. Like a few days ago, people were going, oh my gosh, I can't believe it's been 57 photos. Now I think we're up in the hundreds. And now he's also photoshopping things and making jokes about it. But like, that's not great. That's some of it is very weird. Some of them are very explicit. Again, some of them are mild, but you know, ugh. go look at your own discretion, but it is very entertaining. And listen, it has been very effective. I have only heard of Nina in the context of modeling and, you know, maybe seeing a photo of her in a Victoria's Secret thing, but now I know a lot about her. I know that she has dated at least 57 men, including the likes of Leonardo DiCaprio, who she apparently dated a few years ago, and that she is very sexually out there because in addition to posting these photos, she's also been posting clips from interviews where she's talking about like the craziest places she's had sex and how she feels about sex. And listen, she's very out there. That's like basically what we are learning. Now, obviously people are making fun of Logan for wanting to marry 50 plus men's sloppy seconds, which is what they're calling it. And they are pulling clips from a recent interview that the couple did on Logan's own podcast, where she revealed that she actually made Logan wait to have sex and hinted at her track record. This is a very, very short clip. It's on their TikTok. Did you guys hook up the first night? Yes. It was not an entire hookup. She right. wouldn't have for me. Didn't stop her from being the Nordic vortex. That you could <laughs> no. yeah, listen, listen, okay, listen. Listen. Look at his face. Listen. Look at his face. That is not the face of a man who is comfortable in that situation at all. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. That is not the face of a man who is happy about that being brought up or comfortable with that at all, comfortable with her being called the Nordic Vortex or thinking about any of that. Also, side note, people were calling Logan a cuck for her not having sex with him, you know, for the first few weeks, couple of months, I didn't go into details, but you know, withholding that. I obviously don't see that as a bad thing. You guys watch my content, you know how I feel about that. Do I think that her behavior prior to her, you know, meeting him and settling down was healthy or positive or should be looked up to? Absolutely not. 57 men is insane. But I do think that people can change and their behaviors might change when they meet the right person and realize that they want to take things more seriously. Even though this whole thing is absolutely wild and I don't think anybody should look up to her, this part of the story that's not something to dig into. I don't really care. Good for them if they waited a bit. Logan himself said that he respected it, but of course that's his reputation with his like dudes on the line. So I'm sure he had to say that to, you know, clear his name. But anyway, Dylan, Dylan Danis has not let up on the trolling and he even went on the Full Send podcast with the Nelk Boys. He talked a little bit more about Nina's track record and what he knows and how that reflects on Logan. And he said, She's one of those girls that's been in New York and dated over like, I was getting DMs from like guys that like were like with her, like just random, like, Catch dudes, but like every girl's promoters. like that, no? 
Are no. you going to wipe them up? You're going to marry yeah. Yeah. This guy goes for, I don't know, all the other girls. <laughs> yeah, what are you, you got to take what I can get, bro. I'm not going to. You, that's get the not you, the you think you're chirping me by telling want, me that? He doesn't want. So Dylan obviously, you know, has his sights on somebody that is a lot more pure than Nina, which is one of the reasons why he's going after Logan, because he thinks that it's disgusting. But he, you know, the point is, they've all been hinting at the fact that Nina really has been around the block and that there is more than just these 57 photos. And people are just eating it up. Like one commenter said, there is one thing that Dylan says that is legitimately a fair point. These guys, Logan and KSI, and especially KSI, are always the first ones to get personal and don't care about crossing boundaries. But when it is done to them, they become ultra sensitive and immediately join cancel culture. Another person said he is only helping Logan to cancel the marriage with a 304. AKA a hoe. He is doing him a favor. I mean, you're not wrong. Dylan is an absolute dog for that. Maybe he needs some rough greens to help him out. Now, as you guys know, there is very little that I love more than my dogs, Rocky and Tater. Sadly, they're not with me in Hungary right now. I have them back in Nashville with an amazing dog sitter for the time being. But you should know that when I dropped them off at the dog sitter last week, they came prepared with their rough green supplements. Naturopathic Dr. Dennis Black, the founder of Rough Greens, is focused on improving the health of every dog in America. We all know now traditional dog food is dead food. It does not have the proper nutrition and vitamins that your dogs need every single day, which is why you need Rough Greens to boost your dog's food back to life, like I do with Rocky and Tater. Rough Greens is a supplement that contains all the necessary vitamins, minerals, probiotics, omega oils, digestive enzymes, and antioxidants that your dog needs every single day and that he's probably not getting from his kibble. And you don't need to go out and buy a new fancy dog food. I know that that is very intimidating and it's super expensive in this economy, which is why Rough Greens is so great because it is a supplement. It's not a whole food. It's very economical. You can just sprinkle Rough Greens on your dog's food every single day and you will be leagues ahead from where you were. Dog owners everywhere like me are raving about Rough Greens. It supports healthy joints, improves bad breath, boosts energy levels, and so much more. We are what we eat, and that goes for dogs too. And while I absolutely miss Rocky and Tater right now, I feel good about the fact that number one, they're with a sitter that I love and that they love. And number two, I feel good about the fact that they are getting all the proper nutrition they need while I'm away. Now the team at Rough Greens is so confident that their products will improve your dog's health that they are offering my viewers a free jumpstart trial bag so that your dog can try it. This free jumpstart trial bag, as you guys know, could be at your door in just a few business days. So go to freeroughgreens.com slash bread or call 877-66-MY-DOG. Again, that's freeroughgreens.com slash bread or call 877-66-MY-DOG today. All right, back to the real dog we're dealing with. Somebody else said, I never thought I'd side with Dylan Dennis, but this dude is comedy. Like I had never even heard of Dylan Dennis before this. And obviously everybody has now, his following has skyrocketed. I think he has 2 million now on Instagram, which he was very far from just a few days ago. And basically he now has everybody on his side. And I was following all of this and I was so confused about the origin of this and why this all came about. I was like, what is their history? Why is Dylan, you know, jumping on this? Is he just very passionate about people marrying virgins and women not being promiscuous? I don't know. But then I found out that he and Logan have a fight scheduled for October 14th, a fight that was not getting a lot of attention, that people were not excited about, that Dana White even said sounded lame and was not a good idea. Here he is talking about it. I, I like Logan. I like Logan. A lot. Great kid. Who in this room thinks that's a great fight? He, he's fighting Dylan. Raise your hands, please, if him and Dylan Dennis is a great fight. I know he's fighting. <laughs> Nobody? Not one guy? Nobody seemed excited about it at all. But now everybody wants to watch because Dylan made it personal and he made it a hell of a lot interesting. And now everybody knows who he is. He, they know that the fight is happening. This was literally a marketing scheme. This entire thing, the 57 photos, they were all publicly available on Google. It was just a marketing scheme. He wanted to get under Logan Paul's skin. And obviously it has been effective. And you know, I want to say this, but I'm going to be careful saying it. Even though I don't condone Nina's behavior, I will say that it's a bit odd and maybe in poor taste that Dylan is going after Logan's fiance versus just him. Who he is choosing to marry is reflect on him like that's a reflection on Logan but he's fighting not her you really didn't need to bring Nina into it you're just doing it because you knew it would get under his skin maybe I'm soft I don't know you guys can roast me for that but I just think it's a bit in poor taste drama but of course I won't lie and say that I haven't been entertained because it has definitely been entertaining and I think that it is unintentionally brought up a lot of interesting conversations about relationships Brittany Martinez who founded Evie magazine which you guys know I love she tweeted this a couple of days ago and said the Logan Paul Nina Agdal incident is an interesting case study of a societal shift 10 years ago, you'd rarely see men shaming other men for hooking up with hot women regardless of body count. It simply wasn't mentioned. Now, men are calling out promiscuity and shaming other men who are choosing to be with women that have slept around. And I think this is true, and I've definitely seen this shift you know, very evidently in the last week, but I do think that there is a distinction here because in general, people are just moving away from hookup culture. I think more people are turning their back on it, but I see the change being less about men calling out other men for just hooking up with these types of women and being with them. They're calling out men when they choose to marry 
these types of women. Jake Shields commented and said, men have always teased each other for being with these types of women, but with social media, it can now go viral. Another person said, that's not it. You can sleep with them. You just don't date, don't marry them, which was kind of my point. And that's what I've seen, at least in my own personal life. Someone replied to that one and said, that's not helping this overall problem. The men of our society shouldn't be degrading themselves to sleeping with endless amounts of if men are going to demand that women not behave promiscuously, men should also be expected to not behave like dogs. You guys know, I agree with that. It has to go both ways. Like if a woman is going to respect herself and her body and her future spouse and her future children by protecting herself and be intentional and careful about who she is intimately letting into her life, it is reasonable and I would even say advisable for her to want her future husband to do the same. That's not a crazy thought at all. Another person said, for those who don't think the wrong woman will screw up your life, and then obviously put a photo of Meghan Markle. And to be fair, the wrong man can do the same thing, which brings me to my last point, Logan. Hello. We need to have a word. I don't care if you think that Nina deserves this public slander because of her promiscuity or not. She is still somebody's fiance and he has barely defended her. Like he made one statement 10 hours ago after this was going on for a week. I've seen it all. I've heard all the insults. I know exactly who I am. I know exactly who my wonderful, beautiful fiance is. I'm the happiest I've ever been in my life. Some moron troll posting some bullshit on Twitter will never phase me ever. The rest of the time, he's just been making jokes with Dylan, turning off his comments, sending cease and desist letters while letting Nina hang out to dry for seven days. That's just insane. Even at a fight press conference, which happened yesterday, where both he and Dylan were there, they were on stage, they were next to each other. He had a prime opportunity to say something publicly and he didn't, he just walked away. And even Dylan called him out about this. And he said, it is crazy to think that Logan hasn't defended his girlfriend even once, except for trying to get my account deleted and sending me a cease and desist letter. I offered to go on his show, impulsive by myself and discuss it, but he declined. Deep down, the man is a coward. Jake Shields again commented and said, Logan Paul has done an awful job handling his crisis. He turned off comments on social media and is waiting for it to go away. It's not going to go away. He needs to address the public and say that he loves his fiance and will stay with her regardless of the past or dump that thought. Either way, it's a good option, but you need to choose one. But right now, the message he's sending is that it is totally fine that the future mother of his children, his future wife, it's totally fine that people, you know, drag her name through the mud, that they ridicule her on social media for days on end and he does nothing about it. He chose poorly. Now he knows and he probably likes that he and his fight are getting a lot of attention now. It's gonna be really good for his career and he's fine letting his future wife be collateral damage. No matter what you think about her, that's just wrong. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the comment section and that you maybe even learned something new. If you have not already, like this video, subscribe to this channel, and of course, ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section episode.